Number one, the eagle and the fox. An eagle and a fox, having become friends, decide to live near one another and be neighbors. They believe that this proximity would strengthen their friendship. So the eagle flew up and established herself on a very high branch of a tree where she made her nest. And the fox, creeping about among the bushes, which were at the foot of the same tree, made her den there, depositing her babies right beneath the eagle. But one day, when the fox was out looking for food, and the eagle, who was also very short of food, swooped down to the bushes and took the fox cubs up into her nest and feasted on them with her own young. When the fox returned, she was less distressed at the death of her little ones than she was driven mad by the frustration and impossibility of ever effectively avenging herself. For she, a land animal, could never hope to pursue a winged bird. She had no option but to content herself in her powerlessness and the feebleness with cursing her enemy from afar. Now, it was not long afterwards that the eagle did actually receive her punishment for her crime against her friend. Some men were sacrificing a goat in the countryside, and the eagle swooped down from the air onto the altar, carrying off some of the burning entrails, which she took up into her nest. A strong wind arose, which blew the fire from the burning entrails into some of the old straw that was in the nest. The eaglets were singed, and as they were not able to fly, when they leapt from the nest, they fell onto the ground. The fox rushed up and devoured them all in front of the eagle's eyes. This story shows that if you betray friendship, you may evade the vengeance of those whom you wrong, if they are weak, but ultimately you cannot escape the vengeance of heaven. Number two, the eagle and the scarab beetle. An eagle was once pursuing a hare. This hare, seeing his position was hopeless, turned to the only creature whom fate offered for help. It was a scarab beetle. The hare begged the beetle to save him. The beetle reassured him, and upon the eagle's approach, the beetle beseeched him not to carry off the hare. But the eagle, disdaining his small size and insignificance, devoured the hare as the beetle looked on. From that time, the scarab beetle, full of malice, never ceases to search out the places where the eagle builds her nest. And when the eggs are laid, the beetle gets into the nest, hoists himself up, and rolls the eggs out of the nest so they fall and break. The eagle is sacred to Zeus, and so the eagle appealed to Zeus to find her a safe sanctuary where she could raise her young. Zeus allowed her to lay her, her eggs on his lap, but the scarab beetle saw through this trick. He made a pellet of dung, took flight, and when he got up above the lap of Zeus, he let it fall. Zeus stood up to shake off the dung pellet, and the eggs were thrown down to the ground without his thinking. Since that time, it is said, Eagles no longer nest during the season when the scarab beetles appear. This fable teaches one to not despise anyone. One must say to oneself that there is no being so feeble that it is not capable of one day avenging an insult.